Hello everyone and let's check out another beautiful chess game by Alexander Alehid. And once again, Alehid has the white pieces and his opponent is A. Stefan. And this game was from an another simul. This was a 32 word simul from 1925. Alexander Alehid has the white pieces and Alehid starts the game with playing d4, d5 by a Stefan, c4 by Alehid, the queen's gambit, the client, developing the knight, c takes on d5, knight takes on d5, e4 by Alehid, attacking the knight, knight to b6, knight to c3, and white has the central control as you can see, e5, attacking, d5, and now, Alexander Alehid has the space advantage, bishop to b4, pinning the knight, bishop to d3, and black castled, knight from g to e2, by Alehid, developing the knight, and preparing to castle, c6 by black, attacking the pawn, and also Alehid, castled, not capturing the pawn, c takes on d5, and knight takes on d5, knight takes knight, and e takes on d5 by Alexander Alehin, and black didn't capture the pawn, and black played knight to d7, developing the knight, let's take it back, of course capturing the pawn would be a blunder of a chess passer, then bishop takes on h7, that's check, king takes on h7, and then queen takes queen, and black needs to resign. So after e takes on d5, we have knight to d7, developing the knight. Alehim played f4. e takes on f4, and capturing back with the knight. Queen to c7, bishop to e3, queen to e5, attacking the bishop, rook to f3, defending. And this is a rook lift move by Alexander Alehim. Bishop to c5, pinning the bishop, bishop takes bishop, knight takes on c5, and then queen to d2, and a stephen played f5, pushing the pawn, and bishop to c4 by Alexander Alehid, and then knight to e4, and this is the key moment in this chess game, black is attacking the queen, what would you do in this position? Can you guess the next move of Alehin? Well, Alexander Alehin played d6, that's check. So there is no time for capturing the queen. And black didn't block the bishop with the rook, and then losing the rook with check. So black played king to h8. Of course, blocking with the rook was a bad move, but let's take it back. Instead of moving the king, black should play bishop to e6. And again, black is losing. If knight takes on d2, then rook to d3, knight to e4, and knight takes on f8. If defending the rook, this is not working because of knight to c7, and this must be sufficient for white, black needs to resign, maybe. So in this position, Alexander Alehim played d6, that's check. How to defend? Black is defending the king, king to h8. And again, what would you do in this position? Can you guess the most accurate move? Alehim played a killer move. And after that move, black has no defense. Black is losing the game. But can you guess the move? Well, Alexander Alehin sacrificed his knight, knight to g6 by Alehin, sacrificing the knight. And now what? This is also forking the king and the queen. But most importantly, there is no other move than capturing the knight. Black captured the knight, h takes on g6, the only move. And then there is checkmate in one move. Alehim played, rook to h3, check, mate. This is checkmate. 
At move 21, Alehin once again punished his opponent because of playing inaccurate bad moves. What a beautiful chess game by Alexander Alehin. Well, obviously, Black King can't escape because of the light square bishop, which is holding on g8. And Black can't also block the rook, so this is checkmate. What a beautiful chess game by Alexander Alehin from a simul, from a 32 board simul. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and bye bye.